just going to use a very pointy antler for the pressure flaking. And that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to work from the tips inward. And I'm going to eliminate most of this material here. Pushing slightly inward and downward, but I'm not trying to drive long flakes at this stage. It's still fairly thick, so I may drive some some flakes, but I'll wait until it gets a little bit uh, thinner. I'll wait until I remove some more of this edge here. So I'm going to drive a few flakes inward to thin that base because it needs to be tapered, uh, it needs to be wedge shaped. The profile needs to be wedge shaped. A little bit too thick here for, uh, for hafting. I don't really like, don't really like using the pad because it can snap the tip off. So I found that a smaller a small pad works a lot better than a large pad. The thing with the antler is it needs a sharp edge to catch onto. And if you don't maintain that sharp edge, it'll stall and you'll have to uh, figure out a way to create that sharp edge in order for you to continue. touching the pad with any of these ends, any of these points.
just for uh, safety's sake, we're going to stop there and uh, work on the blade.